Oh, hi. Uh, this lighting is a little weird. That's okay. We're, uh, we're getting our feet wet again. So let's not be too hard on ourselves. Welcome back. I finished Inktober again for the, gosh, like fifth year in a row. And uh, I'm gonna show you what I did, cause I like it. I, uh, I had a lot of fun this year, um, like I usually do, but I don't know, this year was just a little bit different. I started in October, I'm sorry, I started in September. Um, like as soon as Inktober released the prompts, I got all these little pieces of paper all cut up and started writing the prompts on the back and started thinking about it. Um, and then really just kind of dove in and um, started started drawing them out. And uh, I'd like to show you them if that's okay with you. Prompt number one was dream. Uh, so I've gotten into the swing, I think, of drawing like little mini comics. And uh, first thing that came to mind when I, when I thought of dream was a cat napping. So uh, I did a little, little Google image searching for cats napping and drew this dude. And then um, the rest kind of fell into place. Um, yeah, birds think they're hilarious. They just, you know, hop inside of dreams and uh, start talking, talking crap about uh, getting eaten because everybody likes being eaten. Prompt number two was spiders. Spiders are so incredibly hard to draw. I don't know if you know that but uh, I did my best. Um, a friend of mine pointed out that uh, apparently I've got like food and stuff on the mind because um, <laughs> this uh, the spider just felt okay being in this burb's mouth. No big deal. It's cold outside. Let's just, you know, hop inside of the mouth of a bird. That, that seems to solve lots of problems in these here parts. Prompt number three was path. And uh, I'm pretty sure this one came out of just drawing a dang circle and uh, deciding it was an earth or a planet of some sort with a road going through it. Absolutely true to realism here uh, and a couple of mountains. <laughs> Prompt number four was dodge. Um, the girl and I were walking through Garden of the Gods and I was discussing how stuck I was on this prompt and uh, I don't know what made her think of it, but she thought of the dodge tool in, in Photoshop that essentially takes away color. Um, uh, there's, there's more to it, but essentially um, I just thought up this little comic uh, of this bird feeling all pretty and then this dodge tool comes along and and just uh, you know takes it away um, And that's the long and the short of it Prompts number five I did in procreate um, Prompt number five was map. I don't even know how what's until I, until I put the uh, screen grab of the process here, um, I, don't, I don't know the colors of this. But I did it in black and white, and, uh, and then I colored it in Procreate here. Just, just some, some shapes. 
I don't know, right? Isn't that kind of what maps really are? Is just a bunch of shapes? Obviously with like some direction or something. No pun intended. But, yeah. Prompt number six was golden. And I thought of the golden girls, but I made them my own. I turned them into birds, as I do. Kind of speaks for itself. I tried to give them, like, accurate hair colors. And uh, their colors came from one shot of them. It's like a poster or something. Uh, and their colors are from the colors of the robes they were wearing in this poster. Yeah. Golden verbs. Prompt number seven was drip. Um, yeah. <laughs> I don't really know how to describe this other than... These birds are being born from pots of coffee that are different colors. Yeah. That's that's how that works. Oh, well, when a when a when a baby bird asks a mommy bird how birds are born, this is probably how she explains it. Number eight was Toad. Uh, thought of the quote from O oh Brother, Where Art Thou? Uh, they thought you was a toad. But I made it my own. They thought you was a toad, and you were correct. Or they were correct. And he's got a shirt on that says self-care. Because he's pretty proud of himself and all the things that he's accomplished in life. Let's be honest. And why shouldn't he be, really? Prompt number nine was bounce. And I thought of bunnies. And I just started Google imaging things like I do and saw these cool mushrooms and wanted to draw them too. So, uh, yeah, these dudes are just like hopping up, down, up, off of the, off of, well, not intentionally off of the mushrooms, except for, like, this guy. But I don't think that was intentional. Hence the uh-oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Prompt 10 was Fortune. Did a little comic about two birds. Uh, initially sort of fighting over this fortune cookie. And then when the fortune cookie uh, releases its fortune, the truth comes out. Prompt 11 was wander. It's a little cheesy, but it's okay. They say that not all those who wander are lost, but I love getting lost with you. It's true. Prompt 12 was spicy. <sighs> Just a, a little hot pepper turned into a boat, and this bird is sailing it. On his way to somewhere. Prompt 13 was rise. Another little comic about a bird just hanging out on top of the mountains. I forgot to draw his feet, but I think I did that in Photoshop. Or legs. Um, he's uh, standing on top of the mountains there, telling the, the sun to move its butt. It's time to wake up. And uh, tugging it up from the horizon. That is how the sun rises every single day. Okay? 
Don't let anybody tell you about this science stuff. This, like, silly astronomy stuff. Like, scientists don't know. It was a bird. And it is a bird. All along. <laughs> Why do you think the, ro the rooster crows? Like, it was the rooster. Except this isn't a rooster. Uh, it, anyway. That's how the sun rises, okay? Okay, you heard it here first. Number 14 was castle. Just a little castle in the clouds. This was kind of fun. I uh, kind of overdid it on the blues and pinks and stuff. And has that sort of watercolor... Uh overdone quality that I'm not a big fan of, but it's okay. I had fun with it anyway. And this bird, forgetting that he has wings, as most, well, a lot of birds do, um, is in a hot air balloon. I don't know. Maybe, maybe he, uh, maybe he broke his, his wings or something and has to, like, you know, rent a hot air balloon for $500 just to go see this castle that like probably also has an entry fee of $500 and uh, it just keeps getting worse. Anyway, Prompt number 15 is dagger. Got you a present. Tee hee. Not too much to say about this guy, other than probably don't make him mad. Number 16 was Angel. This one came out way better than I thought it was going to. Um, sometimes I don't really know what I'm doing with my circles. Or I'll overdo them or something. But I like what came of this, especially when I got to editing it. Um, I'll drop a lot of these, actually all of them. I'll drop them in Photoshop and enhance their color just a little bit, just for, for the sake of making them look nice on the internet, you know? And I can do that. Artistic liberties and such. Added a little shadow down here with the uh, burn tool, I think, and just maybe lightened that a little bit. I don't remember what I did, but it came out looking really nice. I was quite proud of it. Prompt 17 was demon on the same, like, train of thought as angel fish. Here's a demon fish. His, all, all his eyeballs are up that way on his spiky things with his weird vacuum cleaner toothy mouth. Hm. Prompt 18 was saddle. I do not know why I thought of a chupacabra, but I did. Not a chupacabra. Capybara. Gosh. I don't... It's one of those... <laughs> those are two things that I always get mixed up, and I don't know why. I mean, I guess they're sort of similar words, but... Anyway. A burb riding a capybara with a saddle. Apparently it's necessary. Prompt 19 was plump. Didn't know what to do for this one for a minute either. And ended up just doing a comic about a bird that likes cake. But I wanted to add some, you know, maybe humor to it. And uh, 
who knows, maybe it was a rough day for me or something that day, and uh, everything is stupid, and I'm mad, and I'm never gonna get unmad. And then someone offers him some cake. Okay. Prompt 20 was frost, and I remembered we we hadn't had our first really, really, really cold day here yet when I drew this. At least I don't think we had. But I was remembering a really cold day in Austin. Um, it was a freeze, and it was so bad that all these trees came down in the city. There were just trees everywhere that had fallen under the weight of all this ice that had accumulated on them. And, uh, I just remember them being, like, you could see the branch in, like, all the, not the leaves specifically, because those were probably gone, but you could see the branches, um, underneath the ice layers and it was just like taking the shape of the branches it was just neat um so that's that's what i was thinking of when i drew this um and these are also or supposed to be blue spruce which is the state tree of colorado also the uh, species of Christmas tree that my family buys each year for Christmas. And gosh, they smell great. They're beautiful. They're like this bluish green. Hence, blue spruce, I suppose, but yeah. Prompt 21 was chains. Ah, <laughs> uh, which... I don't know. One of those sort of true to life little things. Sometimes it is all too much, too heavy, and I feel like I have no control. But I am strong, and things can get better. A little bit at a time. I liked this one a lot. Prompt 22 was scratchy. Another one that I had a, a hard time thinking of something for and then actually ended up being one of my favorites. Gosh dang humans. Yeah, there are uh, lots of folks make these cute little tube sweaters for their snakes. And I drew a corn snake in a tube sweater. Prompt 23 was celestial. Basically, if Saturn was exponentially closer to Earth than it is. Another one that I kind of corrected in Procreate, or not Procreate, Pro, uh, Photoshop. Um, color correction and stuff. Also, uh, I realized as we were driving around that I have been coloring in mountains incorrectly for years. The darker color goes up front where the lighter color goes in the back. So all the mountains I've been drawing for the past few weeks have been anatomically correct. <laughs> and it, it looks a lot better to my brain too. I don't know. Stuff that just completely doesn't occur to you for a long time. Obvious things. Maybe. Prompt 24 
was shallow. And here's a little manatee. Manatees prefer to swim around in shallow waters. <laughs> Probably because they're mammals and they breathe air, so it's a lot easier for them to come up and breathe if they don't have 20 miles to swim up to, to find it. Um, also, I think I read something like they can hold their breath for 20 minutes. So that's, that's pretty rad. Go manatees. Prompt 25 was dangerous. I drew a copperhead. A little copperhead comic. Somewhat educational. These guys are beautiful. And yeah, they're venomous, but if you just leave them alone, they're not going to bother you. But if you bother them, yeah, they're dangerous. So don't be stupid, etc. <laughs> Come here. Jeez. Prompt 26 was remove. This bird just chilling, looking up at the moon, deciding, huh, I want that. Going up and getting it, bringing it back, back down to earth and making friends. This is another one of my favorites, I think. Prompt 27 was Beast. Once upon a time in a land far, far away, there lived a terrible beast. And she just wanted pets. And maybe a snack if you have some to spare. Prompt 28 was Sparkle. Did most of this by hand, but scanned this end to Procreate and gave our little, uh, little diva some sparkles and some more color. Not to take away how beautiful this guy is, or fabulous, but seems, uh, seems she kind of stole the, the spotlight and he didn't appreciate it. Prompt 29 was massive. <laughs> and my partner will uh, attest to this song being stuck in our head for like two weeks. And really, anytime this pops up for any reason, it's in our head for like half the day. Except it was, it, you know, it's rock and roll rather than sticks and stones. Um, I scanned this in and added some sticks in Procreate so that it kind of looked like a, a city within a nest. Mm -hmm. Prompt 30 was Rush, which I also colored in Procreate. I wanted to make these guys fancy colors. It's just easier sometimes to do it digitally. And it came out really well. I like it. Just a whole bunch of hurrying for no reason that anybody is aware of. And the last one was fire. Little demon burbs. Another one that I colored in Procreate. I think at the end there, I just wanted to color on the iPad. Sometimes there's just, it's a, it's a feeling. It, it feels nice to color stuff on a screen sometimes. I'm always going to, or rather my first love is always going to be traditional here with, uh, you know, pen and paper and watercolor. 
but yeah, sometimes there's just stuff that you can't do with that medium and the only way to do it is digitally. So if you have the tools, use them, I suppose. But yeah, that's it. That was Inktober 2023. And I have no reason to believe I'm not going to do it next year either. Uh, I did do it last year. I don't know, maybe I'll make a video about that eventually. But uh, yeah, last year I just could not make a video. It just wouldn't happen. Um, but this year I wanted to, there's no reason not to. And uh, I've missed making these little videos. So here we are. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this little, little uh, review of my, of my drawings this year. And uh, see you again. I'll see you again soon. Okay, goodbye.